Okay, we've got to write a linear equation given the slope m and the y-intercept b. Okay, so if our slope is m, our y-intercept is b, linear general form of lin or sorry, the slope-intercept form of a, of a linear equation is y equals mx plus b. m is always the slope, b is always the y-intercept of the line. And if we're given these, we can just write, okay, y equals the slope times x plus the y-intercept. So in this case, the slope is 2 thirds, the y-intercept is negative 5. So we can simplify that to be, obviously, 2 thirds times x plus negative 5 plus negative is the same as subtract. So subtract 5, minus 5. So do this one now. If the slope is negative 1, the y-intercept is 2. That would be y equals the slope times x plus the y-intercept. So the slope is negative 1, y-intercept is 2. So we'd have y equals negative 1x, or negative x, right, plus 2. So now do this one. Plug in the value for the slope and then for the y-intercept. The slope always goes here, and the y-intercept goes here. If we simplify that equation, what is 0 times x? It's 0, isn't it? So we have y equals 0 plus negative 1. Well, what's 0 plus negative 1? Negative 1, right? So y equals negative 1 is the simplest form of the equation. Now do this one. The slope is 1. The y-intercept is 0. So that would be y equals uh, 1x plus 0, wouldn't it? or just y equals, simplify that, 1 times x gives x plus 0, x, right? Now do this one. If the, this is the slope negative 3 fifths, so that goes there. If you're given this y, total y-intercept is 0, negative 2, well think about your graph on the y-axis, negative 2 is here. This is x is 0, y is negative 2. So x is 0, y is negative 2. Is that point there exactly? So this is the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is negative 2. And the general form would, or sorry, the slope-intercept form would simplify to be negative 3 fifths x plus negative 2 minus 2, right?